Hey guys, going live. Hey friends, is anybody on? I'm painting a pencil tonight. Yes, I actually remembered my apron and I remembered my paint plate. So, man, I'm on a roll tonight. Y'all hop on and tell me who's on and what you did fun today. I'm gonna adjust the light for just a second. Coming right back. Okay, let's see if that's better. All right. So, if you're just hopping on, tell me who's on and what you have going on today um, or what you did today. If you've got kids, you're getting ready to go back to school. Um, if you're just here to hang out. I am painting a pencil tonight. I think I need to move it over just a little bit. I have a different set setup tonight, so everything feels off. So if it's your first time live with me, welcome. I am, I already prepped my pencil. I, I actually, for my first coat, I don't know if you can see, um, my first coat, I mixed this kind of um, manila, Color, almost like a manila envelope color. Uh, I did white, orange, and yellow because yellow tends to be extremely transparent, so it takes lots of coats. So I was just trying to get a base coat on my board. Um, but now I'm gonna go with straight school bus yellow. And I'm gonna put my first coat of just yellow on the plate. So. I've got a big brush just so I can cover more area quicker. I'm just gonna put it on here. It's always funny how this makes me look like a lefty, but I'm not a lefty. So if y'all want the template, all you have to do is share this video and then come back and write underneath it, shared or share or sharing shared is probably the best keyword and then um, when I get off tonight I will make sure that you get the pencil template it'll be just like the camper template um, it'll come to you uh, and you can print it and you actually um, it, kind of, it prints on several sheets of paper so that it can be big enough and then you just lay it on your board and trace it out and cut it. So I've got mine already cut here and I've got, I did put base coats on mine so my yellow is starting to really cover. So while I wait for that, I'm gonna leave that brush right there for a second and I'm gonna grab some khaki, which if you don't have khaki, you can mix um, brown and white. And you can even add in a little bit of gray or you could add in a little bit of orange or yellow to get it the right tone. But I'm gonna paint this part of the pencil, um, this khaki color. Just load my brush and go to town. Now this I did also put a base coat of that um, light yellow on. So I'm gonna do that. This is gonna go pretty quickly just because these pencils are there's not a whole lot to them. So you can whip one of these out for your kiddos or your grandkids' teachers. Okay, so I got that. Now I'm gonna flip my board around. And I need, oh, let me get some of this wet paint off of these edges. Flip my board around and I'm gonna get some black paint for the tip. So I've got just a little bit of black paint. I'm just gonna do a dot because we're not gonna need much. And then 
And I'm just going to, let me come back over here. Yes. Um, if you ate all the rest of your dinner, if you ate all your pork chop, you can. Okay, sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna paint this tip that I left yellow. To get your good straight lines, you're gonna load your brush and go really slow. Okay, so this is where we're at. Um, I don't know, I don't think I need that, so I'm gonna stick it in the water. Now I do need pink, and I really want like a bubble gum pink, and I don't think I have one in here. Let me look. Oh, I don't know, this one might work. I actually think I'm gonna mix this, which is a um, twinkle pink. So it's kind of a almost bubble gum color. It's really hard to see, sorry about that. Um, and I'm gonna mix some magenta, which is my favorite pink. So, I just did a squirt of each. I'm going to take the end of a round paintbrush and I'm just going to mix right there on my plate. Okay. I think I got a little bit too much magenta, so let me add in. Actually, I'm going to add in a little bit of white. That would work. Not much, though, because I do want it to still be a true pink. And if you're on, say hi. Tell me what you're up to today. Okay. And if you missed how to get the template, um, all you need to do is share the live video. Or if you're watching the replay, you can share the replay. And then come back and comment shared and I will make sure you get that. Okay, so I'm gonna put another coat of yellow on. Now that my yellow is dry, since it is gonna take several coats. What's everybody up to? We just had dinner. We had pork chops, and I swear every time I say pork chops, I think of the Brady Bunch. Am I the only one? Pork chops and applesauce. It's really important, guys, if you um, are cutting your wood with a jigsaw or another saw like that in your edges. Hey, Allison, I'm glad you were able to jump on. Somebody messaged me today and said they wanted to know how much it would cost to paint that teacher or be kind mural in the gym in Southtown, but I've lost the message. I don't, I can't find it. I've scrolled back through my Facebook messages. Thank you, Jean. I will make sure you get that template. Um, so if that was you, if you're listening and you messaged me asking that question, I was going to respond to you and I can't find the message. So um, send me another one, please, please, please. Uh, all right. So I'm just right now I'm going back and I'm putting, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm putting another coat of brown here and I've put another coat of yellow. So now that those have a second coat, they're gonna need a third, so I'm just gonna set my paint brushes down and I'm gonna get another brush. And I'm going to paint some pink. Now if you just hopped on, I mixed magenta, um, twinkle pink, and white to get the pink that I'm using. And it does look very bubblegummy, which is exactly what I was going for. Okay, friends, to get your work, somebody asked me the other night how I paint straight lines. Well, I don't really paint straight lines. I try, but I don't always do it. Um, but what you want to do is you want to load one side of your paintbrush, and you just want to set it down on your board and go slow. And once it starts to run out of paint, spread the rest of the paint that's on your brush around. Get a nut, load your paintbrush again. Lisa, thank you and then set it down. I'm gonna come from this way this time. And you're just gonna drag real slow. That's the key. Load your paintbrush and go slow. 
and then I want y'all to see this line. Now, it's not necessarily all the way straight, but do y'all see how crisp that line is? That's all you do. That's it. So if I need to straighten that up or make it wider on one side, I can do that. I'm not gonna worry about it though, because, oh, he just, come on. Hey, Stephanie. I'm not gonna worry about that line being a little bit crooked because where those two lines meet, where the yellow and the pink meets, I am gonna be adding some gray. You know, they have the little metal thing around your pencil. So that's around the eraser. So anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna let that dry. And one coat just about did it for the pink. So I'm gonna show y'all. If you're just hopping on, share the live video and come back and comment shared. And I will make sure that when I finish up tonight that you get the template for